This hearing before the state Senate Transportation Committee Wednesday was focused mainly on traffic fatalities. One person was killed every two hours and 26 minutes on Texas roadways. The committee also heard from Robert Wunderlich with the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. He said the number of pedestrian fatalities in Texas has increased 18 percent over the past 10 years. What accounts for that? Well, I think in part it's uh, related to the fact that uh, Texas is incredibly urban. Several pedestrian fatalities in Austin last year occurred on I-35. Some involved the transient and homeless community. Researchers at the Institute have not looked into how homeless camps factored into the data, but Wunderlich said knowing could be useful. But if they do concentrate themselves, it also gives us an opportunity, not just a problem, because if they're concentrated, then maybe we can do things and take certain measures, target the outreach and the behavioral types of changes, as well as the engineering and enforcement things that might start changing the behavior if people are concentrated. Tents and living areas started setting up last year on right-of-ways in Austin after the city council removed a ban on camping. This month, two separate fires broke out in the same camp located under a bridge on Highway 183. The site was cleaned out, but there is no state law preventing people from moving back in. On social media, Governor Greg Abbott stated he intends to push legislation to give TxDOT authority to enforce trespassing laws. But Senate Transportation Committee Chairman Robert Nichols says he has not been directed to put the issue on any agenda. I have not been in any discussions, and I have, nor have I heard any of the other members really having those conversations. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a statewide issue. It seems to be more localized in certain areas of the state. If legislation is filed to make camp cleanups more permanent, it will prompt a larger debate, according to State Senator Carol Alvarado. Coming in and cleaning up and removing people, that's one piece of it. But the bigger piece is having an alternative, an option for people to go to so that the homeless community can get the services that they need, whether it's mental health, uh, drug or alcohol rehabilitation, help finding a job, um, or finding you know, their family and maybe a secure home.